Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. So, Mr. Morgan, whatever did happen with that Mary Gill? Uh, believe me, you'll be the first to know. In this grim show. Mm, that's for the best. Sure, of course. I never did like her very much. Ouch, Susan. Jeez. Mary was fine. Was. You know, I didn't talk to her or anything. I don't know anything about her. Don't ask any questions. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. More Stephen plays Red Dead Redemption 2. My god, last episode was, uh... was a bit nuts. Basically, all we did the entire episode is drink. But I'd rather drink all episode than have, you know, a string of bad luck. To be honest, I haven't quite recovered yet from that. Um, I still haven't actually made my way back to Valentine to get my horse and my hat and Lenny. So I should probably, like, do that at some point. But uh, I haven't quite done that yet. Actually, there's a little L here. I expect you'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. That's so. You tell me. Yikes. Jesus, Dutch, that's a little dark. Lenny, hey man, you okay? Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? <sighs> Do you? Oh, before me, at least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on, you ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, oh God. we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grade. Some nice. You liked her, didn't you, kid? Uh, well, sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I liked her. I know, kid. And I'm sorry about it. Anyway. What are you waiting for? Well, let me practice. You have three practice attempts. How's this work? Perform tricks while it's playing by pressing left bumper when the button appears. Oh, God. Okay. Jesus! Uh, oh, God! I'm getting the hang of it. That was my practice. I'm in. Let's do this thing. <laughs> oh my god. All right. You got your bandages ready? <gasps> oh my god. God damn it to hell. Anyone that would play this in real life, oh my god. Even watching a digital version makes me anxious. Jesus. Now, let me see. I beat, I beat Lenny's time. It looks like the buttons change. Uh, but I think me and Lenny are going to share buttons, so it's going to be A, Y, A, Y, A, Y, A, Y. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm amazed at how anxious this actually makes me feel, even though it's a game. All right, let's do this. Woo! 
I win. Round three, complete two laps. Each player has won one round. I mean, it's just AX, 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 AX. All right, let's do this thing. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I'm not playing again. Thanks, yeah, but I think I've had my yeah, fill of that for one lifetime. Nice to know you're okay, Lenny. All right. That teleported my horse here. Oh, well, that's convenient. Fantastic. Hi, Emoji. How's it going? You got my frickin' hat. I would love it if you would uh, if you give me my hat. Anyway, by the way, hello, everyone. Welcome back. I don't know if I said that or not. <laughs> It's worth, uh, it's worth noting that between episodes, I found a copperhead, and I shot him with a gun, and I skinned him. And I would have eaten him, but I didn't make a fire. Um, but I do have, I guess, that skin in my, my pouch now. So if you see it at some point, you'll be like, what? Where'd that come from? Now you know. Also, what is this right here? Is this another mission? Oh, I can just go hunting with Charles. Oh, I see. I mean, to be honest, going hunting is a, a fairly good idea, at least from time to time. Just because I desperately need to get some more food. Um, the, the game and stuff that we kill while hunting and cooking it tends to be, from what I can tell, some of the best um, ways to restore cores. I was going to work on Micah, but we could probably do a little hunting first. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? One thing I like about this game not is that um, it's not just normal like you're gonna go kill a thing it's like there's cutscenes and there's dialogue and it's like a unique thing you know we are going to learn about today bison and that's cool so it's not just generic hunting you know it was before my time of course but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison they lived almost as one so the bison went my people went they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. I'm just following you, Charles. Oh, wow, that was, yeah, that worked out pretty well. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Bring down one bison. Uh, probably with a bow. They built like a tank? I don't know. Thanks. I mean, right. Deadeye helped. Skin and butcher. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. I'm on it. Hey there, buddy. Easy, How you doing? Girl. I'm nearly there. A lot to take. That is a big animal, man. Got it, though. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? 
And I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. It's kind of worrisome. But okay. We took down that bison pretty quickly and easily, though. I get, I'm kind of proud of that. Dead Eye does wonders. No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. All right, I'm behind you. My guess is going to have an interaction with folks. Could end in bloodshed, but probably doesn't have to. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. There's a group of people up in the distance. I don't know if that's... the folks. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Hmm. There's chewing tobacco. Which we have so much of we can't even take. We got moonshine. And, uh... Something over here. I mean, I inspected it, just nothing. <laughs> Arthur didn't want to talk about it or something. Oh, haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. Christ alive! Also, what was that? <laughs> Christ alive! Uh, let's see. Slightly restore health core and dead eye core. Really need my stamina. Um that's for the horse. Oh, whoops, I was hitting the wrong thing. Um uh, health core, health core, health core. Moderately restores health core and slightly restores stamina. Stamina and moderately restore <laughs> There's nothing that does the thing I wanted to do. Slightly damages stamina core. No no Gosh darn it, just bring back this, I guess. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Lithering isn't a problem yet. Um, got, a, got a while. Okay. A few decades on that. You see anything? I have a tool that does this. Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. I was already with my binoculars, man. Bastards. Killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Maybe, in, in case they're not, though, um... I haven't had a chance to use this bad boy yet. Look, more dead bison! It has to be that! Come on! Wait up! Charles is very passionate about this. Which, you know, obviously... He would be. I just don't want him to make any, you know, rash decisions here. Let's, let's start with a chat. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said... Did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. Ah! Ah! It's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? 
What? Uh, killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. Mmm. Beg harder. Beg harder. Kill him. Beg harder. I've heard enough. You're lucky I didn't shoot you. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Got a nice hat. There's almost certainly probably gonna be trouble in this area soon enough. Because we had some gunshots and we're kind of near a road. It's the way this goes every time. Got a little tin we can loot. Horse reviver. You can't carry any... You can't carry more than three? I only got three, man. Whatever. Anything else of interest? Yeah, there's that tin, too. All this stuff blends in. All right, let's open up this locked box and see what we got. Poison throwing knife pamphlet. Okay, inspect document. Huh. Shows you how to make a poison throwing knife. That seems important for later. Alright. That was the thing that happened. Anything over here? There's something over here. Corn! <laughs> no matter where you go, you got frickin' corn. Alright. Emoji, how you doing? No one came. So I guess that's kind of good. And I still have my marker set. I got my, uh, I, and I have my bison with me still, right? Yeah, I got my bison. Alright, let's, uh, let's get this bison back where it needs to go and, uh, go from there. Well, I finally got here. Poor bison pelt. The belt from a bison in poor condition displaying major damage can be sold. Everyone I thought I did good, because I, I shot it with the bow, so I wouldn't, like, a cause a lot of problems. Find them nowhere else. I guess it didn't work quite like I wanted it to. I also got a poor snakeskin. <laughs> that one I shot. That one I shot in the head. And I got a sparrow car. I've been holding on to all sorts of weird crap. I need to sell this Pleasure junk. Doing business with you. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. I'm not sure where the bison horn is going to do me. Like... Uh, generally, I believe it tells you if it's craftable, so yep. I can get rid of that. Skin from a snake in poor condition, displaying major damage. Well, I, I feel bad about all this. I'm going to cook this stuff, though. I got all this junk, and well. I need to cook it up. Gun oil, gritty fish meat, animal fat, flight feather. Well, then. Yeah, some of this stuff I'm going to keep. This guy looks like a nice dude. If this gets out, I'm finished. Oh, God. What's going on over here? Goddamn vermin are ruining my livelihood. Hey, buddy, you all right? I just need a quick word, please. Okay. The whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All right. Calm down. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Oh, my Lord. That's what I get for coming into the city. Kate and kill the rats in the saloon. Oh, my Lord. How am I supposed to kill these little dudes? Am I supposed to shoot them? Or just swing at them? That works. I guess you, <laughs> you can pick them up. I don't know what you would do with one. Brown rat. Is 
not really what I was trying to do. Come here, doggone it. Uh, Arthur, Arthur, honey. I'm, I'm glad that you can take out your rage on a single rat, but I think we need to focus on, like, the other rats. Yes! Kill those bastards! This is a ridiculous request. I can only seem to get them if they're on the floor. Did I get them all? Undoubtedly, I have to be missing one of them. I'll go into first person. My god, there's so many... There's so many tracks. I was hoping that this would f help me find... ...any that were still alive. I don't see them?! Are there any back here? Have you ever considered that the reason you have rats, maybe, is, uh, you gotta take better care of your place? I feel like I hear one, but I don't see any more. I'm not sure if I need to pick him up or not. But, uh, you know, sure, whatever. Yeah, I feel like I definitely hear more, but I don't see any more. Oh, there you are! Oh, gone it. Got them all! Sorry about the wait there. Ooh, thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, you earned every cent. I killed worse. Eleven dollars. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, I guess you do. Mister. What's up? Wakey, wakey. Good riddance. <laughs> All right, now that I'm in San Denis, I gotta, I gotta get out of here, and also not get hit by this uh, train. Don't, don't honk at me. Hey there, sir. I know what I'm doing. Honestly, shoot, where am I? Am I, am I considerably closer to the Mica mission now that I'm on this side of the world, or was it the other direction? Oh my God, where? Aw, oh, jeez, no. <laughs> I'm in the wrong freaking place. Alright, uh, okay. I could take a stagecoach back to... Back to the area, but it's it's gonna cost me like ten jillion dollars. I mean, I fast-traveled here, but I don't know if I can fast-travel back. Um, well, uh, shoot. Well, I'm over here. Maybe there's uh maybe there's a bounty I could work on. Maybe it'll end up dropping me a little closer to uh to Valentine. That wouldn't be so bad. Cuz right now I'm I'm on what is essentially the other side of the world for Red Dead Redemption. So, also there's another saloon. There's saloons everywhere. Hey, partner. And I haven't spent much time in this part because there's still so much of the game that's taking place back in Valentine, because that's where the camp is. So there hasn't really been a lot of reason to explore this uh, Hello, part of the city. Let's see here. Bounty poster. Did good, girl. There's the police department. Yeah, I'll, sure, man. I guess I gotta go inside, huh? Well, you're not here to turn yourself in, so I conclude you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? Okay, Chief. Lindsay Wofford. Hundred dollars? For the capture dead or alive of Lindsay Wofford. Lemoyne Raiders Commander. 
as the leader of the Lemoin Raiders. He's wanted for raising a militia against the state uh, on American activities, murder and adultery. The gang was spotted in the Mossy Flats region for capture, dead or alive. Yeah, man. All right. You going after Lindsey Waffle? I might be. You know, I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamone Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's going to get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's going to get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoine Raiders. If the bounty's for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. Guess all that remains is to bring him in. If your hand is false, then so be it. Hmm. They say one is dead or alive. I guess it's possible to lasso him, though. Hey. Shut up. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's go, girl. I got a double barreled shotgun. Yeah, uh, let's uh let's take a peek here. Where where are we at? Well, that's not really the the correct direction. Lindsay Wofford, a commander of the Lemoyne Raiders, is wanted for raising an unlawful militia against the state. Capture dead or alive for a hundred dollar reward in San Denis. Yeah, sure. Uh, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna go save Micah, but uh, this sounds this sounds interesting. I'm on this side of the map, so yeah, let's uh, figure out how the crap I can safely get out of the city w without getting murdered or causing murder, and then we'll be good. Don't cross the street. Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? What just happened? Shit, no. You ain't gonna walk out of this town Come alive. On, please. I didn't take much. Oh, oh God. See what you get when you cross me? What happened? Looks like he's worse for wear. Okay, off you go then. I mean, you don't have to answer, that's fine. I got I'm real bad about inter intervening in a lot of these. I'm so it's like, are you serious? Emoji's like, I don't understand how uh, corridors work. I'm like, please, horse, please learn to understand very quickly. Wait. Please don't walk Sorry. into me. I'm just trying to get out of town. There we go. Oh, thank God. Are we free? Are we free? I think we're free. All right, Sandini, it's been fun. But I do believe I got myself... A bounty to catch. I want to go into cinematic camera. I'm still kind of worried. I'll just give it another sec here. All right, now we're good. Let's ride. Whoa. I do reckon we're in the right part of the map. Lindsay Wofford, located in this area and wanted dead or alive. Yep. And my horse is in need of a brushing. Now he's got a militia? Is what I heard? Alright, Emoji, you best stick back here. And let's uh, go ahead and use this opportunity to give me... Probably my bow. Probably my bow and my double-barreled shotgun. Also, the condition on the bow is really bad, but there's no way to maintain it. So, I'm wondering if at some point you just have to buy a new bow. That's interesting. Once I get close range, that'll be good. The bow is going to be good 
while I'm... <laughs> I mean, it'll be good for a bit. It'll be good for a bit. Otherwise, we're just going to kind of hope. It says they could be anywhere in this area, but I don't see how they could be anywhere other than this fort. Right? Yeah, of course. Investigate the fort. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'm going to be victorious or die a very cruel death. But if this dude is known for, for building militias, I can't imagine that this is going to be easy. But I also don't see anything. Wait, wasn't I here before? This looks kind of familiar. I don't... S I don't see anybody. Lindsay Wofford? I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <laughs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. Surrender. I'm well within my rights to shoot you. You're a living <laughs> Shoot them in the face. Push up on them. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. I mean, of course there are, but Jesus. How many boys they gonna kill before it stops? Get that oh god. Ran behind cover, son of a gun. God, I'm not even really behind cover, so I'm kind of surprised these guys have done as poorly as they have. Shut up. Christ almighty. How many we got left? I think I'm good. The real question is, do I have anything to eat? Fine brandy. Slightly restores stamina core and moderately restores dead eye core. I'm just look I'm just looking for like biscuits. <laughs> Let's do that. Yum! Is everyone dead? Definitely hear someone else. Yeah, there's another guy down there now. Guys having trouble figuring out how to climb this. Ow! Oh, there's another idiot over there. Gosh darn it. Kill him? Unfortunately not. That probably did it. I hope. There are a lot of guys here. Can't say I'm fine. I don't know where you're going, but you're coming down. Try it again, buddy. Am I good? No idea. The music stopped. That's generally a good sign. They probably wanted me to get get on this gun and deal with this. 
What does this say? William, I'm writing to let you know our raids against the Jayhawkers in Lawrence, Kansas have been successful. There are many times since we set out on this campaign that I doubted there was a god who loved us, but today I have a glimmer of hope. That they call us Lemoyne Raiders, Bushwhackers, and Border Ruffians does not diminish our fight for a free state and to be free from the incursions of Northerners set on changing our way of life. I hope you will continue to work to recruit more young men to our cause here in Lemoyne. We will ride through their ranks and smite down the oppressors. History is not over and shall be re rewritten. It is always darkest before dawn. Sincerely, William Marcus Anderson. All right. Having this out just makes me feel better, mostly. Yeah, they wanted me to use this to shoot the guys that came, and uh, I didn't. I didn't, but I think it'll be all right. There's some supplies, but I don't got any room for it. Let's loot some of these fellas. I'm sure they got some good stuff. Uh, so for pocket watch, that's good. And Lindsey Wofford. I probably have to, like, take your body back, don't I? Yeah, almost certainly. And if you got any friends, they're going to be pissed off. And there's a uh, there's an icon that's pointing to a gold gun. That's usually like a special weapon. Take his corpse back to the jail. Well, it's a shame that he's dead, honestly, because I was hoping to bring him back in alive. But you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna just drop him here. Tell Moji to come on in. And while that's going on. Uh, I'm just gonna see what's up with this, uh... Is there a... There is. There is a cellar, and I got a light. Do I have to light it? Or is it lit? <laughs> and I just can't tell because I'm in daylight. Can't see very good down here. Revolver Cartridges Express. Those are, uh, powerful cartridges. Fine Brandy. There's some good stuff here. Saw some other stuff, too. Uh, let me go into first person so I might be able to see a little bit better. Definitely saw something else. Pick up Civil War Knife. Huh. Neat. But I, uh, I definitely need my lantern so I can see what the crap I'm doing. So is that the weapon that was down here? The Civil War knife? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, and also this special ammo. Which could come in handy. There's all sorts of stuff down here. I'm almost positive this is actually where I was before. Um, like, a handful of episodes ago, I remember, um, being in this, I think it was this fort. There's all sorts of good stuff down here. Dang. Gold nugget? Oh, snap. A leather. Civil War report. I was going to say, can I read it? I hope so. Survey says, Confederate soldiers under General Quincy Harris attacked Fort Brennan at night. Climbed trees to fire down into the fort, then battered and broke through the north gate. All survivors being executed and bodies burned. I am next. First Lieutenant Ronald Auger. Very cool, man. Finding all this uh, history. Alright, uh, I don't think there's anything else of interest down here. And also, first person is weird. I think that's more fine brandy that I probably can't. Oh wait, aged pirate rum. What the crap? I don't have any of that. <laughs> Fill me up. That's the box already checked. That's the chest already checked. And the thing that they really wanted me to come down here and get was that uh, Civil War knife, which I got. All right, now all I gotta do is get this body back to the St. Denis jail. I could probably put away the uh, there we go. Put that away too. Emojis just wandering around. Some pistol cartridges here. 
All right, I'm uh, I'm just gonna get this thing back to uh, back to the jail. Well, I got him. Here he is, boys. Just tell me where you want him. I guess I'll just like bring him in. I believe this body's worth something. Well now, so much for them boys being the care of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. I mean, don't get me wrong. It would have been nice to have captured him alive, but uh, I mean, let's be honest. He was standing next to a flammable, flammable barrel, and uh, we we ain't gonna deal with that. I shot that son of a gun. <laughs> And it was easy. There you go. You bled all over my shoulder, buddy. I don't really appreciate that. Oh, man. A hundred dollars. Hot dang. I found more money than that in people's chimneys, but I, okay. All right. How about that money now? I'm at good on my promises. Here's your payment. Thank you, sir. Looks right. Pleasure doing business with you. You have a good one now. Sorry we couldn't put more people in jail. I mean, you could have, but uh, corpse probably would have stank up the place. All right. That was a heck of an episode. It took us some places we didn't really plan on going, but... We, we went. We went. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays. Red Dead Redemption 2.